62, נגד, 55. Well, that was the uproar in Israel's parliament today as a contentious bill was voted into law. Israel is now legally defined as the Jewish nation state. Now, that scene showing the joint Arab List party ripping up their copies, yelling at Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as they were escorted out of the hall. Now, the law has neo-constitutional power, defining Israel as the national homeland for the Jewish people and states that, quote, the realisation of the right to national self determination in Israel is unique to Jewish people. And here are some of the other clauses. the bill solidifies the Jewish character of Israel, where does that leave Israeli non-Jewish minorities? Middle East correspondent Emily Rose reports. A pivotal moment in Israel's history. Lawmakers passed the controversial nation-state law. Prime Minister Netanyahu praised the decision, but opposition lawmakers are calling it the death of democracy. The nationality bill is a hate crime. They are totally discriminating against the Arab citizens, against the Arab minority, <clears throat> with racist articles, especially those of Jewish settlements. While some non-Jewish minority lawmakers, including the Druze Minister of Communications, Ayub Kara, support the bill. I don't have a problem with that because I want to save the uh, regime of the Jewish public here. Many of Israel's Arab population, who still receive equal rights under the law, feel like they aren't truly members of society. <laughs> I say to the Arab community, and I'm telling you in the most official capacity, that the state is sending a clear message, this country is not yours. And Palestinians outside the country voiced their disapproval. Once again, the right-wing government coalition has exposed its true character by demonstrating that it's bent on sustaining an official policy of ethnic purity and supremacy thereby regulating the indigenous Palestinian citizens to second-class status. And with its Jewish character solidified, another layer is added to the complexity of being an Arab citizen in the state of Israel. Emily Rose, I-24 News. And joining me in studio, international human rights lawyer and political analyst Arsen Ostrovsky and political analyst Amir Oren. Gentlemen, great to have you with me. Thank you, Arsen, I'll get you to kick us off. Another quote from that PLO Executive Committee member, Dr. Uh, Hanan Ashwari, says that this, uh, that this bill gives license to apartheid, discrimination, ethnic cleansing and sectarianism at the expense of the Palestinian people. What do you say to that? I'm not sure I'll be paying too much attention to what Hanan Ushrawi says. This is the same Palestinian authority that wants to build a Yudin Palestinian state. So I wouldn't be taking too seriously what they're saying. Uh, but look, at the end of the day, um, there is never the wrong time to do the right thing. And this bill is something that's been long overdue, 70 years overdue, that all it does, in essence, it just enshrines Israel's status Why? Why as a right nation thing? state. Why do you say it's the right thing to do? The modern state of Israel, and in fact Zionism, was founded on the concept of Israel being the nation state of the Jewish people, which it is. There's nothing um, revolutionary about that. 
That being said, we have always remained also a democracy and there is nothing at all in this bill that in any way diminishes that. All it does is that it enshrines the current status quo of Israel being the, stat uh, being the nation state of the Jewish people. So, I mean, does institutionalising Israel's uh, Jewish character threaten the nation's founding democratic values? It's a non-issue. It uh, was uh, fabricated by the right-wing uh, coalition partners for two reasons. One, to delegitimize the uh, center and center left parties, uh, which conceivably could form an alliance with the uh, United Party, which is really the joint uh, Arab uh, party, following the next elections. Because Likud, starting in 1996, has uh, adopted the uh, habit of uh, calling the uh, left wing uh, not Jewish enough. They forgot uh, how to be uh, Jewish and some such uh, slogans. Mm -hmm. the, other, the other reason uh, it is being done is in order to have a precondition once the uh, negotiations with the Palestinians uh, are restarted. Now, it's totally unnecessary because uh, when Israel was established uh, in May of 1948, it could have called itself the Jewish state. Actually, uh, it said that we are hereby establishing a Jewish state, which is Israel. So everyone knows whoever was born here, real Israelis do not need this bill to downgrade the minorities and by the way, minorities make one third, one quarter at least, of the population in Israel, and uh, it is a disservice to Israel's image as a democracy. Let me just say, first of all, there's nothing at all in this bill that in any way downgrades Israel's minorities. Israel's minorities will continue as they have been, receiving absolute full rights under the law here. In respect to the timing of the bill, this did not arise overnight. This bill has been in the works, one can say, for 70 years, but more precisely, Avi Dichter, one of the co-architects of this bill, he has been pushing for this bill since he was in Kadima before. So this is this has not come out of the blue. This has not come out of some um, But Asim, don't, you see the uh, don't you see the contradiction? If it's not necessary, it's not needed, because everyone knows that Israel is the nation state of the Jewish people, why go through this legislation? Well, first of all, not everyone knows that. We have many uh, detractors, including the Palestinian Authority themselves and many international community who deny our right to exist as a Jewish state. One. Two, Israel has never been defined as a Jewish state under the law. But that, is, but even that has not happened. To, this, to bill, point, this bill finally enshrines that. It not only does it, it enshrines it within Israeli law, it doesn't change anything to do with international perception and the way that the rest of the world uh, uh, perceives Israel. So what does it change, as, as, Arsene, uh, as uh, Amir is asking? Well, first of all, it, it enshrines under the law and it states specifically what are the values of being a Jewish state or the nation state of the Jewish people. It refers to the anthem. It refers to the national institutions, the Hebrew language, the calendar. Mm -hmm. A lot of these things had not been defined. So when we say what is being the nation state of the Jewish people, this bill finally gives some kind of guidance. Right. In that so you regard. mean in a hundred years time, if the Arabs become the majority, even if Israel remains a democracy, they will not be able to change